Welcome back. So before we continue, I just want to kind of generally talk about responsive design because Bootstrap already provide that out of the box. If you go under getbootstrap.com, you go under documentation and you kind of click layout and grid layout because we need to consider how can we make our application look a bit more shiny? How can we align things, the components? Like this needs to become some kind of card or list component. It needs to be aligned so that it doesn't, the delete button doesn't like move like this, like an arrow. I want it to be aligned more pretty. I want some margin all over my application. How do we make that happen? Well, Bootstrap is using the grid system and the grid system, think of it this way, is like 12 columns and a list, uh, um, some amount of rows. So it's like almost a big Excel sheet with columns and rows bound together and, and you'll kind of, with, with that setup, you'll kind of align every component correctly in your page. They've made something else called responsive design. So pretty much meaning that when I start changing the size of an application, like if I get less or more room, like smaller devices, a tablet, something like that, you'll notice that the application changes and the smaller this application gets, you'll start seeing there, this bar just disappeared. That's actually responsive design, just saying, okay, you don't have that much room now. Let me just get rid of this for you so you can still see enough of the text, right? And as I, as I keep going, you'll notice that all of a sudden it'll show up with a menu. There, it just something disappeared up here now because we're losing space, so we just got icons instead. And again, as I keep moving further in, you'll notice that at some point, there we go, it just added a top bar and then a small drop down here instead, right? And, and we could keep going and it would, it would just try as much as possible to make the experience for the user as good depending on the device he's on, it should still be a good experience, right? So with this good amount of real estate I have right here, I have room for two different bars right here, or sorry, um, areas right here for explaining information. And I have the text, I have a good big bar up here as well. So that's what we call responsive design. The responsive design just means that depending on the size of your device, that you're working on right now, we'll try and align the components so that you can actually still see as much as possible without getting, um, without the important information getting hidden from you, right? So that's the goal. And the grid layout, it's a huge topic. I don't want to cover it all in here, but let's just try and use it instead. So it seems that we're going to, on the outer layer, layer have a container, and then we're going to add a row for each row we need in our system, right? So in our case, let's just start out by adding the container and a row to our code as it is right now. On the outermost layer, I'm just going to add a symbol div right here, and notice it's just a class, and we're going to call it container, right? So now we have the outermost layer, the container for that, and then inside the container, let's just for now add two different rows. Just to show you that, I'm going to add a first div right here and that's going to be the class of row right here. And that's going to wrap my button just to kind of have the first row available. And then I'm going to add another div with the class of row right below it for a second row. And that row is going to just again end right here. So now I have two rows in my system inside a container. So we have the container, think of that as the outermost layer, and then we have two rows. And if we go back to the application now, you'll notice that now I got some margin right here, that's actually the container, and also got a bit of margin for the rows, right? So I got that out of the box. Sweet, let's try and have a look, because I also wanna give a bit of top margin here to my customer bottom, and you can actually do that in a class. Notice right here I have my bottom class. You can just write margin, top, minus, and let's say I want 1%, like this, I can just write, write margin top minus one. So now I get a bit of margin here as well. Now, the reason you wanna use this container and these rows is automatically it'll try and help you actually figuring out responsively how things should be aligned correctly. And I'm going to show you that in the next couple of lessons, but this is just setting up the basic for actually starting to use grids, the grid layout inside Bootstrap. And I think you should go and check out a lot more of the information inside the grid system. We are going to try and add a bit more for the food container um, later on. So that's it for this lesson. See you next time. Have fun.